Queen City's growth is helping to inspire local artists. And I love Charlotte because it's on the, the brim of creating a beautiful culture. Like 10 years ago, I could play down the street downtown and saw anyone see anybody walking down the street. Now, like, it's populated, people are there. Haji Basin plays six instruments all around the city. It's asking for a cultural revolution of music because the people here are wanting something. That demand is transforming the city's nightlife. Wayne Davis is the president of Easy Ticks, which sells tickets for over a thousand events annually. Charlotte doesn't close down at six or seven o'clock like most cities. Charlotte is still alive from eight o'clock at night to about two o'clock in the morning. Leaving locals and visitors flocking to concerts, comedy shows and clubs. From one of the largest stages at a venue seating 5,000 people to a more intimate setting on a small stage at a venue seating 100 people. The center city draws over 11 million people a year. That's more than Cincinnati, Indianapolis and Nashville. And those out of towners visit over 50 venues in South End and Uptown alone. That's aiding business for hotels and restaurants. The Center City reports that hotel occupancy is growing. Right now, it's over 60%. Davis says the city must keep drawing big name artists to help keep that number high. Someone like Chris Brown, he'll draw from 100, maybe, you know, 100 miles away. People will come here and see him. International touring group Pokey Lafarge and the South City Three play at the Evening Muse in Noda. The group says big name artists also make way for struggling locals. When you have a venue like this, which is a national venue, it brings national acts through. You'll a lot of times with the national act, you'll have a local opener that will play. So it's like a, it's a circular thing. So it's important to have. The NC Music Factory co-owner Noah Lazis is confident that Charlotte will be the premier destination in the southeast, rivaling Miami and Atlanta. And we're right at a cusp where we're starting to draw from these surrounding markets, Greenville and Raleigh and Winston-Salem and Columbia, and for much more than NFL and NBA and NASCAR, but for just entertainment. The NC Music Factory's famous Fillmore Theater and major name bar and clubs employ over a thousand people. With 31 acres left unoccupied, they are ready to expand. <laughs> Across town, the neighborhood theater in Noda crosses all genres to reach as many people as possible. People need outlets to be able to have fun and be creative and, and be entertained and, as well as uh, be inspired. They support hip hop to indie to rock and roll. McNabb says he wants the theater to be a community destination. Because we want people to come to Noda more often. Because if they come more often, we'll have more shows. The restaurants will do better, bars will do better, everybody will do better. So. From Noda to Plaza Midwood to Uptown, the sights and sound of the Queen City's music and entertainment keep the region alive. Adrena Vegas, Fox News.